Welcome to Under the Deck with Lloyd for a Saturday night, a true episode when it's late at night, well not late, 8, and I'm shooting Under the Deck in a windstorm. This is a true story, none of that, you know, anyways. Special shout out to a new subscriber, some guy, uh, uh, Donald underscore Trump. So uh, shout out to you, Donald Trump, for following us here at Under the Deck with Lloyd. Uh, a couple of things here. The, um, the North Korean guy who's firing missiles over Japan, this guy wants to die, doesn't he? You know what I mean? It's like going into a gym if you're 130 pounds and telling everybody they're gay. It's, he's gonna die. I'd kill him myself if I could. Um, I, I, I just got back from Vancouver and um, I went down there um, for business on Friday and um, lovely, my wife went with me and jet dinner and wonderful. And then in the morning she says, oh well, we, we're, we're going to just stop at Ikea and buy a bed for Kelly, my daughter. You know, a frame. And I said, okay. So, have you ever been to Ikea in Vancouver? It's four stories. Here's how it works. You go in, and there's showrooms on all the floors, right? And they show it to you, assembled. And then after you do it, the guy gives you a slip and says, here you go, go downstairs and pick your shit up. So you have to go downstairs, and it's pick and pull. You go downstairs, and you have to pull these massive cartons and shit, and hopefully you get the right stuff, and yeah, that's how you buy it, and then you go through the cashier. So we go down there and pick the shit out and stuff, and it's from my daughter and stuff, and we get to the cashier, and we've missed stuff and forgot a piece and shit. It was a horrible experience. Ikea, I hope you die. I am never, I, it was a horrible experience. We got it done and got the right pieces and came home and I took it to my, the bed frame to my daughter and it was, it was only $450. It's fantastic. Have you noticed that all the flag girls, and you know what, I'm not being a, a dick here, but have you ever seen a flag girl that's 130 pounds? No, you haven't. They're all 400 pounds. And, and somebody said to me, well, that's because they can't get a job somewhere else. And I said, yes, they can get a job at Wendy's or something. You know what I mean? So anyways, 400-pound uh, flight girls. The IKEA thing was really bad, really fucking bad. We're uh, starting to get a lot more subscribers now. This shit's really catching on. No thanks to Marianne and Anne and all you college students. You haven't done a fucking thing. And Gabe Bouchard, it's fantastic. I just like to say that name every show. I don't even know in the Greek and everybody's still watching. It's fantastic. What did you think of the ca the captures that Peter's decided to add underneath the show? Peter's so creative, um, and uh, you can you can feel the love between Peter and I. And when he puts, you know, the what a fucking idiot. Peter's fantastic. Anyways, it's kind of a cute idea. I like it. It's something new, right? And we really need to get this going because my I have my left arm has huge muscles in it from holding this fucking phone up shooting these shows. Anyways, oh my God, IKEA. Do never go to IKEA. Am I going to get sued for that? I've got to talk to the law firm. Because I don't know if I'm allowed to say it. What a horrible fucking experience. Anyways, Saturday night. What, what do I always say? Right. Because basically all of you are kids that follow me except for Peter on the law firm. No, there are a lot of young people there too. We don't drink and drive. I'm under the deck with Lloyd. And I'm going to be on Ellen soon. It's going to be fantastic because I'm taking all of you with me. She's going to say, well, who'd you bring? Well, I brought this crew here, and uh, these are all my friends, Gabe Bouchard, uh, and uh, the Greek, and born, Supra I brought, and uh, Rob, Rob, I, Rob, I'm actually scrapping with Rob right now, because at the gym, he's got another realtor, and he's put their cards up front, and some newbie that's been in it two months, and, you know, she's gorgeous, and you know what I mean, I don't want to be, you know what I mean, I told Rob, really? We're done, Rob, so, Rob, we're not going to talk about Rob's gym anymore, he's off the list, anyways, don't drink and drive, guys.